Hi everybody, my name's Dan, and I'm gonna tell you the story of how I get my upright bass all around town. Yup, yup. The first idea that I had was driving to the gig, but it takes me darn near half an hour to strap the bass to the car. So I walked. But that wasn't such a good idea neither. Next I tried riding on buses. Yup, yup. Now first of all, they wouldn't stop a whole lot when they saw me carrying my bass around. And when they did stop, well, the bass just wouldn't fit through the door. You see, didn't I just tell you, wasn't I just saying? Gosh, sometimes I just don't listen. Anyway, then I decided to take a whole new approach to upright bass transportation. That's right, some good old fashioned bike riding. I decided to dust, adjust, inflate, and oil up my old bike and just start riding that old sucker. Worked like a charm at first too. I didn't mind the puddles, the potholes, or the bumps all that much. What I did mind though, was having to walk the bike all the way up the ramps just across the roads. Gosh, I was bumping into people, I was being pointed at and laughed at and working up a sweat and that just wasn't for me. Well, this one time, a lady even mistook me for a bike riding Ninja Turtle fella. It was right around Halloween. Oh well, at least I got a Hershey's bar out of it. And there was another problem with riding my bike everywhere. Every drive through I passed, I used to buy something. Riding my bike just makes me so darn thirsty. In the end, I ended up with less money than what I got paid at the gig. At least I had it my way. Yup, yup. In the end, I found out a way of moving my base around town without getting all sweaty and tired. You see, this here's my dog, and he's wearing my new invention. I call it the Upright Bass Urban Dog Sled. Yup, yup. Thank y'all for watching, and you have a nice day now.